your prime time forecast from Dr. Don's weather page in the Shepherd's Weather Center. Now, here's Dr. Don. Well, I hope you're having a fantastic Thursday. Dr. Don with you with your prime time forecast for Friday, September 11, 2020 on Dr. Don's weather page from the Shepherd's Weather Center. Please go over to paypal.me forward slash Dr. Don WX to support our efforts. Let's take a look at the tropics. Well, wait just a minute. How about that? <laughs> See the resemblance? That's a mad scientist board right there. And this is the tropic graphic this afternoon. That's uh, amazing. Today is the peak day of hurricane season in the Atlantic Basin. And it is certainly living up to its billing this year. All right, let's start with disturbance number one. There is a 40% chance we will see some development in the Gulf of Mexico in the next uh, two to five days. Uh, so everybody from Texas all the way back over to Florida along the Gulf Coast needs to pay very close attention uh, to what takes place in the next several days. That includes our beaches of South Alabama, Northwest Florida, uh, the entire state of Florida on the, on the uh, Gulf Coast side, uh, all of Mississippi, Alabama, Louisiana, Texas, and even down into Mexico. A uh, 40% chance that we'll see development there in the next two to five days. Now, even over on the western side of the Gulf of Mexico, there is another area of disturbance that's being watched. That is disturbance number two. That area has a 20% chance of development in the next five days or so. Then we go out into the central Atlantic. We have uh, tropical storm Paulette. Uh, good news here is Paulette is currently at 50 miles per hour, but should turn back off to the north, eventually to the northeast and back out to sea. We don't think Paulette's gonna be an issue for the mainland United States. Then there is Renee right behind it. Renee is also at 50 miles per hour. Um, some uncertainty on exactly what's going to happen with Renee. Uh, the long range guidance shows that Renee will kind of stall out and then maybe turn a little bit back to the west um, and then maybe turn back northeast also. We're just going to have to wait and see what Renee does. Then we have disturbance number three, which is the red hatched area. Uh, that's a tropical wave just off the Atlant uh, the African coast. It has a 90% chance of developing into tropic, uh, something tropical in the next five days. And just north of that area, there is disturbance number four, which has a 40% chance of developing into something tropic. So uh, having said all of that, we have four disturbances and two tropical storms that we're keeping an eye on. That's about as busy as you'll ever see the tropics any time of the year. Storm Prediction Center, convective outlook for your Friday. This general scattered afternoon type thunderstorms across Alabama and Georgia. Here's your national map in motion. We see a lot of green across Alabama and Georgia. Uh, we have a couple of fronts that's meandering around across the southeastern United States. All of our rains coming back in from the east moving uh, absolutely backwards. We'll show you more about that when we take a look at the radar in just a few moments. Here's your Goes East Southern Mississippi Valley satellite shot, valid as of about 4.50 on your Thursday afternoon. You see a good bit of cloud coverage coming back in from the east across South Carolina, Georgia, Alabama. Uh, just about all of Alabama covered with clouds now except northwest Alabama and extreme west and southwest Alabama. Uh, it's not complete cloud cover. You may see peaks at the sun from time to time, but uh, pretty much overcast across East Alabama at this hour. Total rainfall amounts the past 24 hours ending at 7 a.m. on Thursday morning. Nothing across the immediate area of East Alabama and West Georgia, though we did see about a quarter of an inch of rain back across central and southeast Georgia in the past 24 hours. Looking ahead for the next five days, our rain amounts are slowly creeping up. We do see now that uh, anywhere from a half inch to one inch will be common across East Alabama. Uh, some localized spots could see around an inch and a quarter. Up there in northeast uh, Georgia, uh, the interaction of the Appalachian chain, we 
may see even more rain up there, inch and a half to two inches plausible across the mountainous regions of northeast Georgia over the next five days. Your high temperatures expected on Friday afternoon will go to 88 in Roanoke and Wadley, 87 in Widowie and Woodland. Radburn goes to 87, Rockford at 88, Alexander City 89. We will do 88 in Dadeville, 88 also in Opelika and Tallahassee will top out at 91 degrees. Current conditions as of 450 on your Thursday afternoon. Winds out of the north at around 7 miles per hour. Look at that humidity level going way up there now. 71% humidity, dew point at 72. We have overcast skies for the most part. Some sections of East Alabama and West Georgia are getting a few showers and thunder showers this afternoon. 81 is your current temperature. 87 is the heat index. Visibility is out to 10 miles. Sunrise on Friday morning, 6.23 a.m. And the sun sets at 6.53 p.m. on Friday evening. Here's your Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler HD radar. And we can see a lot of activity over there in Georgia and portions of eastern Alabama. All this stuff is moving backwards. I've been posting radar shots this afternoon on Facebook, and I've had several questions. Are these storms moving to the west? And the answer is yes. They are. This doesn't happen very often, uh, but it certainly does happen. And we've got that easterly flow set up, so we've got moisture coming back in off the Atlantic. Normally, we get all of our moisture from the Gulf of Mexico, but not today. As you see, these storms moving from east to west. So if you're watching radar, instead of looking to your west, look to your east. That's where your storms are going to be coming from over the next uh, couple of days, I think. This pattern's probably going to make it all the way into the first part of next week. We'll take a quick peek here at some of these showers and thunder showers. Nothing severe by no means. Uh, just scattered showers, uh, brief heavy rainfall possible, maybe a stroke of lightning here and there, uh, but not a whole lot of lightning in any of these storms this afternoon. I'm going to stop it and bring it current and we will right there yeah that's the latest loop and the biggest storm without question is this one down here uh, just south of Auburn down in southwestern Lee County and that stretches uh, the heaviest part of it really is working just south of I-85 and it's moving on off to the west maybe a little bit of a northwest motion to it uh, just a couple of lightning strikes down there so you folks down in Tallahassee and Notasolga uh, South Auburn, eventually Tallahassee will have to deal with this. Uh, probably will make it on over into Elmore County. Wetumpka and Montgomery may have to deal with it as well. And we zoom back out. Uh, some showers and thunder showers there in the southern part of Troop County. Some light showers in Chambers. Uh, southern Tallapoosa, we've got some showers over there in uh, western portions of Clay County and up there just north of Ranburn as well. And again, all this stuff is moving off to the west this afternoon. Here is your six-day forecast from the Shepherd's Weather Center on Dr. Don's weather page. A 40% chance of a shower or thunderstorm on your Friday. Now, I think the best chance of rain is going to be mid to late afternoon. And so by the time we get to the football stadiums on Friday night, I think the chance of rain will be uh, exiting fairly quickly. Uh, but there could be a scattered shower or two at some of the venues. So if you're going to go to a ball game, uh, be prepared to uh, duck a raindrop or two during that contest. And then on Saturday, our rain chances really go up. I think Saturday and Sunday is going to be uh, more clouds than sun and good chance that you're going to see some rain on both days. 70% chance of rain Saturday and Sunday. 86 year high Saturday and also on Sunday. Monday and Tuesday, we hang on to a decent chance of rain, 60% both days. And then out there on Wednesday the 16th, we have a 40% chance of an isolated afternoon thunderstorm. But check out those temperatures. They're running about 8 to 9 degrees cooler than what we have experienced for most of the summer. So we will take that. That is uh, certainly a welcome change. And as we look out uh, through the extended, now that pattern pretty much is going to continue. We may hit 90 on the 17th, but if we get back into the upper uh, 80s 
on the 18th all the way through the end of the extended out there on the 22nd with just isolated afternoon thunderstorms through that period. Don't forget to go over to drdonwx.com. There you can check out our website, all the cool stuff we have there for you, including the God's Country page where you can download the Mixler app and listen to God's Country. And as a bonus, you get my daily weather forecast. Also, go over to our YouTube channel and subscribe and click on that little bell so that you get notified when we go live for severe weather coverage. The link to you, our YouTube page is located right here above this video. Just look up and you will see that link. Dr. Don's weather page is supported by Ju Shepherd's Fine Jewelry and Gifts, serving East Alabama for 81 years. Located in downtown Roanoke, 334-863-2812 by Brandon Brown, BR Construction, Licensed Home Builder, 334-744-1507. By Southern Union State Community College, Wadley, Opelika, and Valley. By Kelly W. Phillips for Mayor, City of Roanoke. We're bridging the gap. Runoff election, October 6, 2020. By Neil Johnson, Superior Heating and Air Conditioning, Superior service for superior customers. 334-646-0331. Buy Rick and Becky Rainwater with Remax Lakefront. 256-610-1390. Cody Yarborough, Southeast Soft Wash. Exterior cleaning experts. 334-863-0084. By Joey Knight, Auction 431 South in Phoenix City, 256-252-8932. Mark Mitchell, Bama Diesel Repair, 256-201-3685. Jimmy Stevens of Jimmy Stevens Construction, Remodeling and New Homes, 256-610-1364. Jamie Dukas, your Alpha Insurance Agent, 256-452-5131. By Joey Knight, Anchor Roofing, free estimates, free inspections, 706-326-2438. As always, we ask you to go over to paypal.me forward slash Dr. Don WX to support our efforts here at Dr. Don's weather page. And if the good Lord's willing and the creek don't rise, I'll see you in here on Friday. Uh, we'll take a look at your Saturday weather forecast. And we'll see if that uh, mad scientist chalkboard is still going out there in the Atlantic. Y'all enjoy the rest of your Thursday. We'll see you on Friday. Bye now.